Hello, my name is Andrew Isavria and uh, welcome to this class. Now, in this particular class, we're going to be discussing about uh, one technologies and um, over the, co the class, we'll be discussing several other uh, com advanced computer networking uh, concepts. So I'm going to assume that you have prior knowledge or basic knowledge of uh, some of the basic concepts of computer networking. Okay, so in this particular class, we're going to be talking about one technologies. Now, and to be more specific, we're going to be discussing the asynchronous transfer mode, or in brief, what we call the ATM. Okay. Now, if you don't know what a one is, a one is primarily a wide area network. Now, of this sense, what a wide area network is is um, a, the kind of network that a computer network that spans over a very wide geographical location. So it's mostly a combination of several LANs connected to each other using several technologies and uh, when you have several uh, local area networks connected to each other eventually the result is what we call a wide area network okay so let's get started now in this uh, this particular class as we talk about the the asynchronous transfer mode this is some of the things that we're going to be discussing along the way I'll be introducing to you what the ATM technology actually is uh, where it came from, why it was invented, and why you probably may want to choose the ATM over some other kind of technology uh, to use for your wide area network. And then next we'll be discussing the networking itself, how to lay out uh, the ATM network, how it's laid out, some of the components that you will need to lay it out, and several other things of that kind. And then finally we'll be discussing about the layers of the ATM uh, of the ATM technology, uh, the adaptation layer to start with, and then the signal layer okay so that is what we're going to be covering in this particular class so i want you to sit tight and uh, let's have fun with it now to begin with the asynchronous transfer mode is um, a high bandwidth low latency or low delay connection oriented switching and multiplexing technique now all these things that are listed here are some of the key features uh, that define what an asynchronous transfer mode is Okay, so when we're talking about the ATM, we're talking primarily about high bandwidth, we're talking about low delay, we're talking